This next section is the pricing uncertainty principle. And I'd actually never heard of this before and I don't think I know a ton about it. So hopefully I do it justice. Pricing uncertainty principle. All right, got that out nicely. Essentially what this says is that prices are arbitrary and malleable. Direct quote out of the book. Prices, arbitrary and malleable. Fancy words to say you can set a price at anything and you can adjust that price. Realistically, that doesn't mean a transaction is going to occur or you'll be able to sell something. And the book mentions how obviously people like to acquire products, spending as little money as possible, but you can set a price as the business owner at whatever you want it to be. The example in the book is uh, about a rock, which it says you can price a rock at 10 cents, you can price a rock at $30 million. It really is completely up to you how you want to price a rock. But obviously you need to justify, and the way he talks about it in the book is reason why, which makes sense, to justify your pricing. If this rock is a diamond and it's the rarest diamond on earth, maybe this price is justified. If it's a common rock, maybe this price is justified. Um, that doesn't quite illustrate the pricing uncertainty principle. You could still sell a diamond at any one of these prices, but if you want to set a logical price, you need to provide a reason why, which often comes into a supply and demand thing. But I think the main takeaway here is that prices where transactions actually occur are sort of set by the market on both sides and where a transaction can actually happen. But the just general act of setting a price it's completely arbitrary. You may do so in any fashion you see fit. You can set any price you want. Pricing uncertainty principle.